Hiya. We've been thinking about ways to help young children learn about feelings and to explore emotions. Uh, and a lovely way to do this is by reading together. Um, there is lots of good children's books out there that focus specifically on emotions, but you can also just look out for moments in any of your favourite stories to talk about feelings. I don't think there's a story out there that doesn't involve feelings in one way or another. So Clover and I are reading this book, Edward Gets Messy, which is about a pig who likes to keep very clean, but he finds that um, he misses out on a lot of opportunities because of this. So shall we read a little bit together? Let's try it. Let's see. On the way to school one morning, Edward's friends jump in a big pile of dirty leaves. But Edward doesn't get messy. He walks on the pavement. Look, there's, there's Edward there. And look at his friends, they're jumping in the pile of leaves. What do you think they're up to? Look at this one, he's got a great big smile on his face. He looks like he's having lots of fun. And this one's jumping in the air and he's got his arms stretched out. That looks really, really fun. How do you think Edward feels when he sees his friends jumping in the pile of leaves like that? What do you think? I think he's missing out a little bit. Clover here. I'll tell you a secret. Clover's just a teddy bear. Clover can't really talk back to me. Um, but if I was with a little one, I would give them lots of space so that they could could speak and um, I would uh, I would encourage you to give a little bit of space and time so that they can can tell you what they're thinking I don't want to put words into Clover's mouth um, but just yeah give a little space for them to think about how how the characters in the book might be feeling or what would you feel like Clover how do you think you would feel if you walked by those pals jumping up and down the leaves like that and you couldn't get involved I wonder how you'd feel and just take, take moments in the book to chat about it. You don't have to speed through from beginning to end reading every word in the book. You can take some time to pause and look at the pictures, think about how the story might relate to your life, if you've had any similar experiences, um, and enjoy it. Take some time over it. See how it goes. Enjoy.